Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Sam and Max Save the World. Last time we uh, got ourselves a few uh, talisman which might help us get to where Hubliss is. So let's go up here, let's use our Lead Vision Talisman. Neat. And then let's use our Spoon Bending Talisman and hopefully a sconce. Bonk. That was cool, but I hope it didn't hurt the bowling ball. <laughs> it does seem really convenient, and that kind of scares me. But jigs up, you bless. We've come a long way for this, my friend, so buckle up, because the freelance police are taking you downtown. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. He is. You're <laughs> just in time for the show. Please, no flash photography. Ahem. People of uh -huh. Earth. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. And now, so are you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. What have you done? <laughs> oh, just enlisted a few billion followers. Touch me, and you'll have quite a happy angry mob on your hands. Not if we reverse the effects of the hypno beam. I don't think so. For in all the universe, there's only one force chaotic and destructive enough to stop me now. But you wouldn't do that, would you, Max? Who, no. me? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm flattered, but... No, you wouldn't. Because I'm going to... Drumroll, please. Separate your bliss! Really? What does that even mean? It means I chop off every part of you I don't like. It's like circumcision, but... <laughs> Double the laughs. Hey! Oh my gosh. Wait, what? Here we go! Goodbye, murderous hand! <gasps> Goodbye, gluttonous stomach! Goodbye, slothful tail! Ow! And with those naughty body parts, your vices are purged from your soul! Bye-bye! Thanks for the hand, jerk bag! I'm gonna use it to shoot you all! <laughs> oh boy, a stomach! <laughs> Just what I always wanted! Now come here and let me eat you! <laughs> Great, a tail. Hmm. I just want to lie in front of a TV till I die in a pool of my own slobber. Congratulations, Max! I just beat the living vice out of you! <laughs> I'm pure bliss. Ah. Go away, rotten Maxes. I don't like you. Shoo shoo, shoo shoo, go away. Now nothing can stop me. I win. Okay, bye now. Oh. Yes, my children. Let me soak in your happiness. Oh, yes. Mmm, more. Oh, yes. So good. Oh, oh my. So happy. Max, are you okay? Help me grab that ponytail freak show and reverse the effects of the beam. But Sam, I love that ponytail freak show. I want to have his love child. <laughs> no! <laughs> Max, I swear to you, I'll get your vices back or kill us both trying. I love you too. This is terrifying. Holy cow, what happened? Help me out with something. I still need a hundred trillion dollars. What if we sold your body to science? I was hoping to be buried in it. Well, I'm sure we've got something else of value lying around the office somewhere. The office? And why is he talking normally now? Help me out with... Let's see. Everybody on Earth is hypnotized to act like Hugh Bliss. Isn't it wonderful? Well, sort of. But think of the cost. Free will is an illusion. Anyway, I think Hugh Bliss is annoying. I'd rather they all acted like somebody else. <laughs> Help me out with... I think I liked you better when you were whole. I'm fine, Sam. There's no need to get those nasty pieces of me back from the doppelganger. Says you. This prismatology nonsense really gets my blood boiling. That's from the heat generated by the limitless energy of your imagination. 
My limitless imagination is going to cause an aneurysm if you don't stop talking like that, Max. I'd like to give that you Bliss a piece of my mind. And he would welcome it gladly, except for the hypothalamus. He's already got plenty of those. Okay. The hypothalamus, what is that for again? Oh, that's... The, the, the hypothalamus is the pleasure center of the brain. So, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> if we don't stop you, Bliss, the whole world will be filled with peace and love and excessive hugging. There's no such thing as excessive hugging, Sam. Obviously, you've never been to a comic book convention. Oh my gosh. Alright, Never uh, mind. Let's figure this out. These crystals must operate something important. No, I just think they look pretty. A bit cliche, if you ask me. What? Nothing. <laughs> so, uh... Can't do anything I with can the see the retreat from here. Apparently, Mr. Mind Reader has to keep tabs on his followers the old-fashioned way. What? Nothing. <laughs> well, what do we have? He's protected by magic. Ah. Uh -huh. Someone around here has got an incurable case of narcissism. What? Nothing. Unfortunately, <laughs> they appear to be quite indestructible. Interesting. Well, uh, let's see if we can't uh, get Sam's body parts back, then maybe he can help us. I think we found one of your doppelgangers, little pal. We're all doppelgangers under the skin, Sam. Why is your hand there? Wait, your, your, your stuff is back. Uh, that's probably not supposed to happen. Uh, hello, Violent Max. You there, imposter! My buddy needs his shooting hand back! No, Sam. I'm a pacifist now. Violence is the bugaboo of a small imagination. You'll have to pry this hand from my cold, dead fingers! Eat the fiery lead of my inalienable freedoms! Ugh. Can I shoot him? Dang! Darn! I think he's bulletproof. Really? Dang! Okay. Maybe we can start this uh, roller coaster. Oof. Wait, so if I get close, Goody, he starts target. coming toward me. Can I make him puke? I'm not particularly interested in oh, seeing the on. contents of his stomach. Hmm. How are we going Goody, to go? Moving. Dang, I didn't mean to move that way. So we need to distract him. Perhaps get him on the roller coaster and then get it going. But how would we do that? No idea. Okay. Whee! Let's see if we can't find the uh, other Maxes. Maybe we can do something with them. Look, Max, it's another one of you. He there made you it go. 20 feet from the box before collapsing under the weight of his own laziness. Ennui is one of the five fundamental forces. <laughs> <sighs> no TV? Why even go on? You should all just lie on your faces and wait for death. It's true. I got nothing. I'm a failure. <laughs> I'm on the verge of tears. This guy's the death of the party. Hey, Pseudo Max, how's it going? Mm. I need your tail for my little buddy here. How about handing it over? Nah. Uh. Uh. Mm. He's heavier than he looks. Aren't we all? Uh, maybe we can get him to turn over with that uh, Earthquake Maker, but who knows. We still need $10 trillion. 
You okay, Harry? Hi, Harry. The blue rabbit's right. I can't keep a job. My feet stink. Why do I even go on? <laughs> Come now, Harry. Give us a little smile. Leave me alone. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, can't really have a conversation with him. That's fine. Let's uh, see if we can't go back to the Earth. Hopefully, uh, we won't get hubelicized. Earth. So I'm guessing the hungry one's probably going to be at Bosco's eating stuff. Hey, Jimmy. Hi, I'm you, Bliss. Not you, too. I'm the one and only you, Bliss. In that case, shouldn't you have given up your life of crime? I'm doing this for charity. Hmm, can we unbend that thing? I just thought about that. Yeah! Well, that was kind of fun. Oh, we can. <laughs> nice. All right. More, more, more juice, more nachos. Holy heaping helpings of high fructose corn syrup. He's eating everything in sight. Bosco, do not freak out. Attaboy. Eat up so you'll grow big and strong. What is the world coming to? Bosco, pasta knobs. Aisle four. <laughs> oh my, that one does have an appetite. At the rate he's going, his stomach won't even fit back inside you. I've no need for my earthly stomach any longer, sir. I'm on Hugh Bliss's cleansing fast of lemon, water, and sunshine. Uh. As God is my witness, by the end of this day, you will be eating cocoa nougat butterballs again. Can we get him to up, Chuck, maybe? It's beautiful. That did nothing for us. Maybe we can get him to eat something that will not be good for him. I can't really think of anything. Excuse me, Mr. Vice Manifestation. <gasps> you look delicious. Look, pal, I need your stomach so I can put my buddy back together. Hand it over and only one of us gets hurt. I can't resist the rich, meaty taste of dog and rabbit! Oh! Well, here we are in your stomach. What the hell did I just step in? I'm enjoying the womb-like meditative quality of the pyloric sphincter. Darn it. Well, I've still got my magic doohickey. Something tells me I'm gonna be smelling that for the rest of my life. Oh, okay, so, uh, we talk to him and he eats us. That's, uh, unfortunate. Hey, Bosco's mom. Hi, I'm you, Bliss. What? I thought you were Bosco's mom. Oh, yes, I'm Bosco's mom, you Bliss. Identity really is a difficult concept. Bosco, there's a munchkin terrorist in your store. Get excited. I'm just glad I could be of help to that poor hungry soul. You truly are a treasure, brother. Uh, uh, sister. Kindness? Charity? Understanding? When will this hellish nightmare end? <laughs> See you later, um, whoever you are. Bye! Ah, uh, this is a nightmarish hellscape we've stepped into, indeed. Alright. Let's see, well, let's, uh, check on Sybil. Sybil, are you okay? Hugh Bliss shot some kind of weird energy beam all over the planet. Oh, Lincoln's here. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Oh, no. And I'm perfectly happy, Sam. Oh, and hello, Brother Max. Tangerine Dreams and Aqua wishes to you this day. Why, thank you, Sybil. You're looking especially lovely today. This is horrific. <laughs> oh, man. You've got to snap out of it. Snap out of what, friend Sam? For the first time in my life, I've got a perfect job. 
a rock-solid relationship, and an incomparable feeling of peace. I've never been so content in all my life. Don't worry, we'll fix that. <laughs> this prismatology business is all a lie. Is pure happiness a lie? Is peace on Earth a hopeless dream? Are unicorns imaginary? Mostly, probably, and it depends on how far you live from a facility that processes nuclear waste. Oh my gosh. Have you had any new ideas for improving Canada? With this new feeling of peace and tranquility, I feel like my mind is alive with possibilities! Oh, the fingers. I only wish there was some way to extend this feeling of goodwill and generosity to all countries of the world. I always suspected that when the world turned nice and pleasant, Canada would be the first to fall. Uh, no kidding. How are things going with you and Mr. Lincoln? Simply wonderful. Isn't that right, Abraham? <laughs> Pretty lady. <laughs> he has such a way with words. Quite the smooth talker. <laughs> It sounds like Mr. Look at me, I wrote the Gettysburg Address isn't as good with words as he led us to believe. Oh, he'll be fine once he's managed to stop hyperventilating. Meh, meh, mama. Are you two planning on having kids someday? Oh, okay. So long, Sybil. How'd that work out? Oh, d don't, don't. What's don't up, Al? How's the date going? Oh, thank goodness you two have come. Why, hello, Mr. Lincoln. You're looking quite distinguished today. What's wrong with him? He hasn't been himself lately. Whatever. you got to help me with this date. Uh, how? The honeymoon's already over? What's the problem? She's really into me. See there, Abraham? All it took was a little bit of courage. No, I mean really into me. She's so nice. It's giving me the creeps. I thought you'd be used to blissed out people after spending so much time at the moon retreat. Sure, when you're around a bunch of other single guys, that's one thing. But this, what do I do if she wants to get intimate? I'm not cut out for this. There, there, Abraham. That's just the yellow of your cowardice speaking. Seriously, how long is he going to be like this? I'm working on it. I am. How did you avoid getting hit by Hugh Bliss's mind-altering happiness ray? I missed the great blissification? Damn it! I knew I shouldn't have stopped by the gift shop on the way down here. <laughs> Do you know how to stop Hugh Bliss's world domination scheme? Why would I want to stop it? Under Hugh Bliss, all men are created equal. That's kind of my thing. Not this kind of equality. This is horrible. You and Sybil should think about starting a family. This is all happening too fast. It's been over a hundred years. My stomach's doing backflips. I don't know what women like. Women like to be treated as equal partners in love and trust. A foundation of honesty that- Seriously, make him stop talking. I'm nauseated enough as it is. You're ever the romantic, Mr. Lincoln. Lucky at uniting a nation on the brink of war. Unlucky in love. Hey, You're else? ever the romantic. Okay. Lucky at uh, can I make him throw up again? I think it only works on things with stomachs. All right. All right. Okay. Hmm. There's one more thing I'm wondering about. So let's go back into the office. I know there's one more person I actually want to check on. <laughs> Uh, open up this closet here. Are you here, Bliss? Did you remember to feed Leonard today, Max? Sure! Ah, okay. I thought there would be something more. I wish he'd gotten, like, blissed out or something. I had some sort of reaction like that. Oh, well. Um. I was refused to phone. I saw what you did. Keep the payments coming and nobody has to find out. Yeah, okay. Love you too, Mom. Oh, my gosh. 
I saw what you did. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's the president's sophisticated budget allocation system. Hmm. And obviously, can't do it. We anything store our waste here for safekeeping. So, is there something in the office that's worth 100 trillion dollars? President Max thought the desk in the Oval Office was too showy. Hmm. It's a calendar. We had to clean out the cabinet to make room for Max's impeachment files. I don't even want to look at that case again. Well, what do you know? The crucial piece of evidence. Oh, whoops, yeah. I'll have to. Re One of these days, I've got to remember to clip those nails. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Looks like the donut mold civilization left us for parts unknown. Hmm. I wonder if they're on the moon too, and I just missed them. Well, okay, um, there's one thing I know I can do, at least. Uh, nothing really changed in the office, it looks like, but, uh, we got the rat off the meter. So let's see if, uh, we can get that other talisman now. To the moon, Alice! And uh, again, here we go. I wonder if uh, Superball has a anything new to say. Howdy, Superball. I can't talk now, sir. The blue guy is really getting me down. His supernatural lethargy is crushing my normally unbridled enthusiasm. That's Superball. You seem as chipper as ever. Thank you, sir. I work hard to put on a happy face, but I'm crying on the inside. <laughs> I uh, can't think of anything. And yeah, let's go check on uh, Philo Pennyworth. How's it going? Silence. I believe I have finally mastered this pinnacle of prestidigitation, the legendary rat from the hat! Hey! <laughs> oh, I just remembered. I can't stand rats. They're vile vermin. Smile when you say that, Beaky. Beaky? Sheesh. I hate this pulling out of the hat business. Next time, I'll find something better to hang on to. Oh dear, no. There won't be a next time. I shall never do this trick again. In fact, I would appreciate it if you would be so good as to remove the hat from my presence. Sure. So was he dehublicified when he got up here? Hmm. I can pull a rat out of this hat. Interesting. What good does that do us? I really don't know. I wish I could figure out something, because right now, after I did that, now I'm really kind of at a loss here. Hello, sir. Don't bug me! Hey, cops. What are you guys going to do once you're done with prismatology? Online distribution. It's going to be huge. Okay, we already said that. So long, cops. The end of line. So they're no good to me. Can't get near this guy. Goody! Moving target! Hey! No way. Ah. Because I can pull it out the rat. I was going to try to like, get him to distract the violent Max, but I guess not. So, uh, how will we get Max's body parts back? Well, you guess is as good as mine next time on Let's Play Sam and Max Save the World. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.